If you clicked on this video, I'm guessing life is a little bit unfortunately overwhelming right now, right? There are moments when everything feels like it's just spinning out of control. Uh, you know, when the noise, the stress, and the chaos around us just feels so loud and just drowns out any sense, you know, of peace. If you're feeling this right now, I want you to know that you are not alone. We've all been there at some point of our lives. And you know, here's the good news, my friend, is that peace is still possible, just no matter how bad it looks like right now. Even if you're in the middle of that chaos, the very moment you're watching this video. Today, I wanna talk to you about how you can find peace in the chaos. You know, not by waiting for life to settle down, but by learning how to anchor yourself in the middle of the storm. Because let's be honest, sometimes the chaos won't go away, may never go away, but you can find that peace within yourself, no matter what's going on around you. So with that being said, let's do a deeper dive into this topic matter, how we can find peace in the middle of chaos. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is, The first step into finding peace in the middle of chaos is to just simply breathe and bring yourself back to the present moment. When life feels like it's out of control, it's easy to get caught up in our thoughts, you know, to start worrying about the future or, you know, replaying the past mistakes maybe. But here's the thing, peace can only be found in the present. It's about grounding yourself right here, right now. So all you gotta simply do is just take a deep breath and deeply inhale and exhale. Do it again, inhale, exhale. When we focus on our breath, we're reminding ourselves that, you know, in this very moment, things are gonna be okay. We are gonna be okay. The world may be spinning around us, but we are grounded, steady, and still. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, you know, come back to your breath. Uh, let it guide you back to this moment because this is where peace ultimately lives. The second topic I wanna talk about regarding finding peace in the middle of chaos is one of the hardest things to accept in chaotic times is that there are so many things that are just too damn out of control and yet we spread so much energy trying to hold on to everything thinking that if we could just manage it all we'd find that peace but here's the truth my friend that's very hard to hear Peace isn't found in control. Peace is found in letting go. Stop and take a moment and think about the things you're trying to control right now. You know, is it other people's actions? Is it the future? Is it the outcome of something you're just maybe waiting for? Let me tell you something. When you release the things that aren't in your hands, you open up the space for the peace to enter in. Focus on what is within your control, your thoughts, your um, actions, your reactions, and let go of the rest. I know it's much, much easier said than done, but trust me, the freedom and peace uh, it comes with, letting go is so very worth it, my friend. The third topic we're gonna talk about regarding finding peace in the middle of chaos is... In the middle of chaos, it's so very crucial to create moments of stillness for yourself. This might mean, you know, taking just five minutes in your day to sit in silence or meditate, or if you even have to, you know, maybe journal your thoughts, whatever works for you. When everything around you feels like chaos, stillness your refuge. It's a reminder that even in the noisiest environments, you can, you know, cultivate quiet within. Think of the stillness as a reset button maybe for your mind and soul. When you give yourself time to be still, you're allowing your thoughts to be settled, your emotions to calm, and your perspectives 
to shift. Even in the busiest seasons of your life, you know, peace can still be found in the small moments of stillness. And stillness doesn't always mean, you know, sitting alone. You know, sometimes it could be found in the small practice, like, you know, um, sipping a cup of tea mindfully, or, you know, talking in a quiet space, or taking a quiet walk in nature. It's basically being intentional with your time making space for calmness to you know breathe within your day the fourth topic we'll talk about regarding finding peace in chaotic times is what do you mind just bought this he says he wants these stickers removed fast can't do it faster than that folks. when life feels chaotic it's so easy to focus on everything that's going wrong but here's the game changer peace comes when you choose to focus on what's right gratitude is one of the most powerful tools we have for finding peace in the chaos even when life feels super overwhelming there will always be things to be grateful for you know whether it's for the people in your life your health or even small you know victories throughout your day so i want you to ask yourself something when can I be grateful for right now? Maybe it's the fact you have the strength to keep going, or maybe it's the support of someone very close to you. Shifting your focus from the chaos of gratitude doesn't make the problem disappear, but what it does is it changes how you can see them. And uh, with that change in perspective, peace will then start to feel possible again. It will start to flow right into uh, the space peace will start to flow right into pace gratitude is like a muscle the more you practice it the stronger it becomes start small each day name you know three things no matter how tiny they are that you're thankful for you know you will be so amazed how this practice shifts your mindset from one of the tensions to one of the appreciations and with it chaos will start to begin to lose its grip the fifth thing I want to talk about regarding finding peace in chaotic times is... Finally, remember this. The chaos you're experiencing right now, it won't last forever. Uh, life moves in seasons. You know, while this may be a tough one, it will eventually pass. Trust in that knowing that everything is temporary. Trust in that. Knowing that everything is temporary, including the difficult moments, gives us hope and allows us to find peace, even when things feel very uncertain in life. It's very important to remind ourselves that you've been through, you know, hard times before and you've made it through and in this moment is really no different you are resilient and this chaos will pass in the meantime trust uh, in your ability to hand whatever comes your way with grace and strength just like a storm that eventually gives way to calm skies your life will find its balance again and in those moments of you know trust and surrender that will allow peace to take root within you regardless of the external circumstances at the end of the day my friend peace isn't something you will just find outside of yourself it's something that already lives inside of you and it's ultimately about you know unlocking it and you can tap into it even in the most chaotic moments in your life rather it's through breathing letting go finding stillness practicing gratitude or trusting the process peace is within the reach no matter what's happening around you right now i want you to take a deep breath right now and remind yourself that you are capable of finding peace even in this storm you're going through right now you are so much stronger than you think and in this moment it will not last forever trust in your ability to rise above the noise and ground yourself in the present in the stillness and in the gratitude thank you so much and god bless you for taking a few moments out of your day for checking out this video if you found it helpful i love to hear your thoughts in the comments below so let's continue the conversation and don't forget to like and subscribe if hopefully this video resonates with you also feel free to use the comment section if you want me to tack on any other topics or subject matters i 
I'd love to read and listen and provide feedback. Don't worry, my friend, you got this. And you always have people that are there for you, even though at times it feels like no one is there for you. I'm Adam representing Team SOS. Thank you for watching this video. In case I don't see you on the next one, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, and most importantly, good night. I'm signing off. I love you all. Stay safe. Be safe. Peace.